Okay, we want to lube all our main bearing bolts like this. A little bit of there and underneath the head. Okay, and then we're going to run them down. We've got a two-step process. You go to 125, back them off, 37, and then 120 degrees. Okay, we're going to torque them all to 125. Kind of a weird torque procedure, but they have us back it off, loosen them all. Okay, we're going to torque them to 37 foot pounds now. Then we'll turn them 120 degrees after we do this initial torque. The initial torque was to seat the caps, make sure that they're set in there correctly, and then torque turn it. Okay, we're going to turn from there, and we're going to end up right there. Same thing here. End up there. End up there. And make sure there's no oil on it either, is the other thing. You can also take and put a mark on your socket. Uh, I put them on here just to double check myself. Make sure I don't miss any. There to... There to there. So I get there and over here. So they're kind of facing the same way when we're done. Okay, we can torque turn them with this wrench. I put a mark on my socket so I can line it up there too. I'm doing a double check thing here. So we're gonna go to torque turn. That's at 120 degrees. To change that, you go up or down, right? Okay, and then we'll line up our mark on our socket, which is right there, with our mark on our bolt head. Watch as I ratchet it. 78 degrees. We ended up at 121 and 343 newton meters. Go back to our degrees. So if we converted 343 to uh, foot pounds, that's going to be probably close to 250. Yeah, I double check my marks here as I do this. Oop. Okay, so I'm gonna go have to reset it. And I went 144, so I can take 24 degrees off of that. Which would be 96. right there so we're going to stop there that's why it's a good idea to put your mark and double check yourself Just
329 newton meters. Like I say, double check your mark, see how they're lined up now. And we'll clear that. Twenty-four. So I went and did the math on that. The 328 newton meters that comes up at, um, or 328 newton meters comes up at uh, 238 foot pounds. Okay. That one's done. That one's done. See, I would have forgot I'd already done this one. They say this is a way more accurate way of torquing. I'm going to double check you two at the same time. Looks like it's coming up with the same foot pound force every time. Okay, we got our dial indicator set up here. This is a digital. Uh, so it's zero now. What we're gonna do is pry the crankshaft back and forth. Let's see what we go this way. So we'll zero it there. Okay. Go the other way. We've got nine thousandths, ten thousandths. That's within spec. Uh, look up the spec, it's going to be somewhere between two to twenty thousandths or so on the end plate. 